So in this video we are going to perform the self pollination in tomato and for that the first thing will be the selection of buds. Select the unopened flowered buds like the flower that are going to open next day or after a few days select that kind of buds because that will ensure that till now pollination uh, the pollen grains are not released from that flower and the flower is not contaminated. So before opening of the flower and the stigma being receptive so we will cover this with the bags now a question may arise like a tomato is itself a self pollinated crop then why we need to bag it for getting a self pollinated fruit so the answer is nothing is 100% though it is a self pollinated crop but we cannot guarantee that 100% will be self pollination always there will be some percentage of outcrossing which you can understand as cross pollination so as this is a research plot so to ensure the 100% of genetic purity and the fruit that we are getting is actually the self pollinated fruit we need to bag this before using this butter paper bag we have created small small holes to allow the better air circulation inside it otherwise if we will um, tie it without making holes then the birds will rot and there will be no fruit set so now can you tell me which type of tomato fruit self pollinated one or cross pollinated one will have better quality 